Regimental battle orders are being delivered to the commanding officer by the regimental sergeant major, Sergeant Major Edward G. Zapata, and consists of the following honors. Presidential unit citation with two silver stars. Joint meritorious unit award stream. Navy unit commendation with four bronze stars. Meritorious unit commendation with one bronze star. World War I victory with West Indies. American defense service with one bronze star. Asiatic Pacific campaign with one silver star. World War II victory. Navy occupation service with Asia. China service streamer. National Defense Service with three bronze stars. Korean Service with one silver and four bronze stars. Armed Forces Expeditionary with one bronze star. Vietnam Service with two silver and three bronze stars. Southwest Asia Service with two bronze stars. Afghanistan Campaign Streamer with two bronze stars. Iraq Campaign Streamer with one silver star. Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Streamer. Global War on Terrorism Service Streamer. Korea Presidential Unit Citation Streamer. Vietnam Cross of Gallantry with Palm Streamer, and Vietnam Meritorious Unit Citation Civil Action. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel William H. Vivian, subject, relinquishment of command. Effective 10 20 October 2017, you stand relieved of your duties as commanding officer, 7th Marine Regiment. You are to proceed to the commanding general, 1st Marine Division, for duty. Signed, R.B. Neller, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Colonel Kyle B. Ellison, subject, assumption of command. 
Effective 10 hundred, 20 October 2017, you are hereby directed to assume the duties as Commanding Officer, 7th Marine Regiment. Signed, R.B. Neller, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. That's a pretty big deal. We don't talk about that very often, but that's what you just saw in the exchange of those colors and that handshake and that hug at the end. I would ask for each and every gunnery sergeant, staff sergeant, corporal, lance corporal, who's in the formation or who's sitting up here in the stands to acknowledge and think about this. I'm gonna say a couple things about uh, Colonel Vivian and Colonel Ellison, but what's really happening is they just happen to be fortunate enough to be the ones about whom I'm speaking. The reality is, Every staff sergeant, every gunny, every captain, every lance corporal who is also sacrificing in this regiment, also has a spouse, also has a family who's sacrificing. They all wish uh, that, hey, I'd like to be able to stand up there one day and you know, get, get my spouse acknowledged, my parents acknowledged. I'd like to, well, you're doing it right now. I'm just using two names. These names happen to be Vivian and Ellison. Just substitute your name for theirs, and it's exactly the same. So for those spouses that are out there, for the families that are out there, you're being acknowledged too. And if your family's not here today, Please make sure you go home tonight, get on the phone and call your folks, get on the phone and call your spouse or your kids and tell them, hey, you were mentioned for Bill Vivian. So Bill and I have known each other for a very long time. Uh, he was one of my battalion commanders in the fight in Afghanistan. He was up in uh, Musakala and Nauzad, very, very tough area. And I, I work with him. I don't think I've ever seen his pulse get above 52, 53. Uh, it is, Barney may have a couple times when, when, uh, when he has spent money he's not supposed to spend. but. He is a phenomenal commander because he actually cares about each and every Marine. He is physically hard, grew up as an enlisted Marine. In fact, I just found out today that Colonel Jerry Durant, U.S. Marine Corps retired, was his Marine officer instructor when he was Corporal Vivian. And, uh, and, and they're sitting right next to each other. So it shows that the Marine Corps is a very small place. Bill, uh, to you and to your entire family who I got to meet this morning, you folks, you raised him right, you supported him right. We're very grateful for all that you've done to produce a man of that uh, caliber. Of that integrity and of that quality, you will be missed. For those of you who don't know, Bill's going to be retiring here uh, next year, and uh, and I will personally uh, miss you. The Marine Corps will miss your your loyalty and your service. And whatever you do next, you're going to be a, a smashing success because you have been in this Marine Corps for three decades, pretty much your entire adult life. We're grateful to you and to Marty for all that you've done, for all that you've endured and uh, for being willing to be part of this team for so long. You're a phenomenal officer, Bill, and I am personally uh, proud to call you my, my friend. What a magnificent day. So as usual, the general stole my op opening line, but uh, that's okay. So join me in another round of applause for the Marines and for the oh, band. Thanks for it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, right now, Colonel Ken Kasner, Colonel Rob Fulford, uh, Tim Barrick, and Jason, Jake Bowden, they're running the school for the Marine Corps, and they're doing a heck of a great job. And since this week is about turnovers, yeah, talking a lot about Pato that. was my battle buddy and uh, kept me out of trouble on this last deployment, and he is the heart and soul of the regiment, a more disciplined man, you're, you're, you're tough to find. He scares the bejesus out of every staff and CO on the Caxi, they're afraid to run with them. Uh, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. It's a wonderful experience. Uh, the uh, Lieutenant Colonel Frank Diorio is up there with his lovely family. Frankie, you should get the biggest smile I've ever seen. And I tell you what, but uh, Frank, uh, the secret is out. He was my XO as a battalion commander. Uh, I was mildly successful until he showed up and then it was, it was great. He did the same thing here at Ripper. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very much. Good luck to you. You know, the, uh, the families and the battalion commanders, I, I would have to say, of the regiment, uh, they really made me successful as well. If it appeared that I was successful, it was because of them. I could go on and on. Get Sarah Ford, Tyne Middleton uh, in the crowd with us today. Thank you very, very much. And Gene Clark, appreciate it very much. Everything that you do, the sacrifices that you make. Uh, your, your husbands are all very talented, and it's uh, been an incredible experience. Very collegial, 
and uplifting, and I learned a lot from each and every one of them. So, the, I also have to say thank you to the Marines of Ripper. Um, as I talked about a little bit yesterday, um, you know, we wrote one chapter of that famous legacy together, and now, Kyle, it will be your turn to write the next chapter, and they're pretty darn good partners, I have to, I have to say, in that effort. And I was thinking also about the history of the regiment, and it's October for a change of command, which is, seems kind of off cycle, but so many good things have happened in 7th Marines history uh, in October. Uh, both uh, John Basil and Mitchell Pave were the events that they were awarded their medals of honor for Guadalcanal under the Battle of Heat, and then uh, moving east for the Second Battle of Fallujah. That's what was going on there. So it just goes on and on. And now we have another watershed for the regiment that represents the continuity and it's gonna keep going. Half of the crowd here who I should say thank you to, uh, but I'll keep it focused and, and I'll, I'll come to my family. And uh, it's, uh, it's growing. So congratulations to Hutch and Erica and thanks for being here. Uh, they got here at three in the morning or so. Uh, Major Lammers is here. Thanks for letting through the gate. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> Didn't have to get up to go get them. Uh, girls, Sarah and Anna, appreciate it. Joey, thanks for being here. Um, and then my mom and dad, of course. So my mom, she raised me with the discipline of a drill instructor. So boot camp was no big deal. Thank you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the mother's love. She always believed in me. And Uh, Dad, you got to know that, uh, yes, I think it's true, people know Colonel Vivian for being calm, uh, and uh, I learned that from you, uh, leadership lessons I, I got as a young man from you uh, have stayed with me forever. Thank you. And of course, uh, you know, Marty, it's, uh, thank you for everything, uh, really, you know. I don't know if anybody in the regiment knows it, and now that uh, now that you know Kyle, you're Ripper Six now, I can say this, Marty. I call her with all the tough problems. Say, what do I do? And so your uh, counsel, advice, and love have been uh, critical, critical. And uh, I love you. Thank you. So, and finally, to uh, <coughs> Colonel Ellison. Hey, T, you and Don, welcome aboard, brother. Welcome home. So I felt like I was coming home to the regiment, and uh, I know how that feels, and uh, I couldn't uh, be prouder to hand it over to um, anybody, I can't think of anybody else better. So, and it's been really easy, and um, General Smith, sir, thank you for your trust and confidence. I won't let you down. Um, general officers, family and friends, Marines, veterans, uh, thank you for attending today. It means a great deal. I'd like to start, though, by um, really thanking uh, Phil Vivian. And I will tell you, uh, I'd like to thank you for your leadership, your mentorship, your friendship, your selfless service over the countless years as a Marine. Um, and all you have to do, really, is, is look out here or look uh, in the bleachers and talk to the families to get the true impact of Bill and Marty Vivian. And uh, I am just honored and privileged uh, to take command from you, and I'll do everything I have to uh, move that ball forward. So thank you. The Commander of Troops is Lieutenant Colonel James W. Birchfield.
Second Fleet Commander of 1st Battalion, 7th Marine, the Executive Officer, Major Brandon M. Stiff. The Headquarters and Service Company Commander is Captain Andrew D. Wright. Company Commander is 1st Lieutenant Justin K. Horvath. Leading the color guard for the regiment is the color sergeant for Southern Frame, Sergeant William Hart. The commanding officer of 3rd Battalion, Southern Frame is Lieutenant Colonel Stephen M. Ford. The India Company commander is Captain Luis E. Murillo, Jr. Filling in for the commander of 3rd Battalion, 4th Marine, is Major Justin Gray. The Headquarters and Service Company Commander is Captain Nickel R. Pesaretti. The Kilo Company Commander is Captain Andrew M. Format to do it. So normally, what Sergeant Major will say is he'll say, "Attention to orders. Please do not stand up and do not come to the position of attention." Because when you do, then you're worried about being in a position of attention and moving. You're not listening to the words in this citation, which are really mean. And on every day, you know, I see this number and it just keeps shrinking. I'm like, "Hey, hey, Bill. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. You know." And then I, I so I finally go out there with him. We're patrolling. He's doing exactly right. But he was, as I like to say, mildly interested in my recommendations and suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he did some great work out there. And he's done great work across across his entire career. And you'll hear a little bit about that today. So, Bill, would you come up? Marty, you and I are going to pin this thing together. So, Bill, let's bring you up and recognize. And then Marty is going to be right here. And I'm going to come get you. And you're going to help you pin this up. Because um, this is actually going to take away from your shot. Step a little bit more so we can, your family can all see. And we're of the United States, it takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Colonel William H. Vivian, United States Marine Corps, for service set forth in the following citation. For exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service as Commanding Officer, 7th Marine Regiment, and Commander, Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force, Crash Response Central Command, 17.1, 1st Marine Division, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force from December 2015 to October 2017. Throughout this period, Colonel Vivian's superior leadership and managerial acumen materially co contributed to the accomplishment of the missions of the 7th Marine Regiment and the Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force Crash Response Central Command. During his tenure, Colonel Vivian undertook the reactivation of 3rd Battalion Force Marines and transferred 129 pieces of equipment valued at $3.1 million as part of the 1st Marine Expeditionary Forces Equipment Rebalancing Program. Additionally, his mastery of Marine Corps doctrine and understanding of the future operating environment was evident when 7th Marine Regiment effectively served as the Ground Combat Element Headquarters for Marine Air Ground Task Force Warrior 2025. As Commander of the Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force, Colonel Vivian pushed the tactical edge by developing several intelligence, communications, and logistics initiatives that advanced the force. He also guided the efficient movement of passengers and cargo during 2260 assault support sorties. His superior performance of duty during his tour is a hallmark of a career devoted to accomplishing a broad and diverse task in combat and peace, highlighting a culmination of 31 years of honorable and dedicated Marine Corps service. By the dynamic direction, keen judgment, 
and loyal devotion to duty, Colonel Bibby reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest tradition of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. For the President, David H. Berger, Lieutenant General, U.S. Marine Corps, Commander, U.S. Marine Corps Forces Pacific. Morning, would you come up? Turn this way so everybody can see. Marty, you on that side? This is dangerous. If that's got a real point on that thing. And Marty's got a couple axes you have to grind. So, self so intend this in. tell uh, the officers in the regiment and this, this is especially true today whenever an officer in the Marines uh, receives an award what it really is is recognition of what the whole group achieved together and I, mean, I think this citation in particular illustrates that quite well uh, and Johnny Middleton's husband is on the way home now he's really the one who brought third battalion fourth Marine back to life we just helped him do that, and I happened to be here when that happened. Uh, you know, we talked about the Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force. I'm looking at Craig Connell. He was the future operations officer for not one, but two rotations of that, uh, and set both of those up for success. And, uh, you know, I could go on and on. Uh, Puppy Fry, Gunner Keith Marine, who uh, probably, well, According to the Wall Street Journal, he's the best infantry man in the Marine Corps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that is just, uh, I could go around the room uh, about every one of you and uh, have an anecdote, uh, and it would be true. And so, really, for, for this particular award, uh, it's, it's really our award. And uh, so, only on those grounds will I say thank you very much on behalf of all of us at Ripper, uh, appreciate it very much. Thank you. It's third job every time when the regiment was formed and the regiment was here. Uh, you were a team builder, taught us how to build teams, and put the regiment first. So this is our way of just saying thank you for your leadership. Uh, at the top, we got a picture of the, the 99th anniversary of the regiment. Uh, that picture was taken. Uh, out of Camp Wilson, actually when the regiment was at ITX. Uh, we know that the Colonel uh, liked that picture, so we want to make sure that was in there. So if you saw it, you remember the team uh, that you built. Uh, of course, uh, the unit coins, we have the 100-year anniversary coin, the SD Mag Hat Patch, and, and uh, the Blue Diamond. And, uh, the Burbage reads uh, Ripper 6 from WH Vivian, December 2015, October 2017. Thank you for your magnificent leadership and devotion to the Marines. And so is the suffering regiment third march. Thanks, sir.
dead man walking. <laughs> <laughs>